today's video will be about the two types of shipping terms, the FOB shipping point and FOB destination. This shipping terms tells us who the owners of the goods are. Meaning, itong dalawang shipping terms na to is about transferring of risk and rewards of ownership ng goods to be delivered. First, shipping terms is the FOB shipping point. FOB stands for free on board. So what is this? In the FOB shipping point, ownership of goods is transferred to the buyer at the point of shipment. This point of shipment is when the goods are out of the premises ni seller. Ibig sabihin, by the time na yung mga goods is pinadala na ni seller through a courier. So the seller is no longer liable if may mangyari dun sa mga goods along the way papunta kay buyer. Kasi nga sa FOB shipping point, risk and rewards of ownership is transferred to the buyer at the point of shipment. And also, the buyer is liable to pay the freight cost. So, ano ba yung freight cost? Ito yung delivery cost na binabayaran dun sa courier. So, example nito is, di ba, kapag nag-order tayo sa Shopee or Lazada, is merong shipping fee. And the shipping fee is shouldered by the buyer. So, FOB shipping point yung term na yun. Since si buyer nga ang liable to pay for the freight cost, yung buyer is magre-record ng freight in which is debited. And on the part of the seller is wala siyang problema kasi nga the buyer shoulders the freight cost. Next is FOB destination. So in here, ownership of goods is transferred to the buyer at the point of delivery. Meaning, risk and rewards are transferred to the buyer once goods are delivered or received by the buyer itself. So, ibig sabihin, once there is actual delivery na or hawak na ni buyer yung goods. So, in the FOB destination, seller is still liable to pay for the freight cost. Freight out is debited on the part of the seller. So, itong freight cost na to is considered as delivery expense. To further understand the difference between the two shipping terms, let's have some transaction. And in the transaction, we will be uh, dealing with the seller's point of view. Sale on account amounting to 500,000 with terms 3 over 10 and over 30 with FFB shipping point 10,000. So how do we account this transaction kapag FOB shipping point and freight collect? So di ba kapag FOB shipping point, the buyer is liable to pay for the freight cost. Siya yung may obligation to pay the freight cost. Ano namang ibig sabihin kapag freight collect? Kapag freight collect, the buyer initially pays. So, dito sa FOB shipping point and freight collect, buyer ang nagbayad and buyer din ang liable to pay. Since we are on the seller's point of view and si buyer ang magsha-shoulder ng freight cost is, ito ang entry natin upon sale. We debit accounts receivables and credit sales amounting to 500,000. The entry upon collection within the discount period, simply ay account lang natin yung 3% the sales discount. So, 500,000 times 3% will give us a 15,000 sales discount. Kaya, debit natin ang cash amounting to 485,000, debit sales discount amounting to 15,000, and credit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000. And the entry upon collection beyond the discount period would be we just debit cash amounting to 500,000 and credit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000 as well. So, next transaction would be the same. However, magkaiba yung shipping terms. This time, FOB shipping point, pero freight prepaid. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Di ba kapag FOB shipping point, buyer is liable to pay for the freight cost. However, kapag freight prepaid, seller initially pays. So, si seller muna yung nag-shoulder ng freight cost. So, the seller has an additional receivable amounting dun sa freight cost. Kasi nga, siya muna yung nag-shoulder in lieu ni buyer. Pero kailangan pa rin bayaran nun ni buyer. So since ganun is matadagdagan ng ating accounts receivables. So the entry upon sale would be debit accounts receivable amounting to 510,000 which is yung 500 na sales on account and freight cost of 10,000. And credit sales amounting to 500,000 and credit cash amounting to 10,000. So the entry upon sale within the discount period would be we debit cash amounting to 495,000 and we debit sales discount amounting to 15,000. So ang basis natin sa pagkuha ng sales discount ay yung 500,000 lang kasi yun lang talaga yung sales on account natin. We just mu multiply the 500,000 to the 3% to get the 15,000 discount. 
and 510,000 less 15,000 will give us a cash of 495. We just simply credit accounts receivable amounting to 510,000. The entry upon collection beyond the discount period is we just simply debit cash amounting to 500,000 and credit accounts receivable amounting to 510,000. So we're done with the FOB shipping point. This time we'll go to the FOP destination. We all know that kapag FOB destination, the seller is liable to pay for the freight cost. Kapag freight prepaid naman, the seller initially pays. Our entry upon sale would be we debit accounts receivables amounting to 500,000 and we debit freight out amounting to 10,000. Bakit may debit na freight out? Kasi nga FOB destination. And we credit sales amounting to 500,000 and credit cash amounting to 10,000 kasi nga freight prepaid wherein the seller initially pays the freight cost. So the entry upon collection within the discount period would be we just simply debit cash amounting to 485,000 and debit sales discount amounting to 15,000. Nakuha natin tong 15,000 by multiplying 3% to 500,000 and we credit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000. And our entry upon collection beyond the discount period we just simply debit cash and credit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000. So we're done with the last one. So paano naman kapag ang shipping terms ay FOB destination pero freight collect? FOB destination wherein seller is the one who is liable to pay pero freight collect na kung saan si buyer muna yung nagbayad. So this payment ng buyer sa freight cost is parang deduction sa utang niya. And by that sa part nating na seller, that will be a deduction sa ating receivables. Our entry upon sale would be we debit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000. We debit freight out amounting to 10,000 kasi nga FOB destination ng ating shipping terms. And we credit sales amounting to 500,000. And we credit allowance for freight charge amounting to 10,000. So this allowance for freight charge is a reduction sa ating accounts receivable. It is a concha account. So by the time that we already collected, magiging reduction siya sa ating receivables. So the entry upon collection within the discount period would be, we just debit cash amounting to 475,000 and debit sales discount amounting to 15,000 and debit allowance for free charge amounting to 10,000 and credit accounts receivables amounting to 500,000. So di ba, 500,000 less 15,000 sales discount less 10,000 na allowance for free charge will give us a cash amounting to 475,000. So the allowance for free charge is a reduction sa ating collections of accounts receivables. The entry upon collection beyond the discount period would be we just debit cash amounting to 490,000 and debit allowance for free charge amounting to 10,000 and we credit accounts receivable amounting to 500,000.